Hello, hello, welcome back to Scrap Craft. Hope you're having a lovely day. Um, did I show you guys the finished order? Did I? Did I show it to you? It is a hot mess back here. <laughs> it looks very clean because I've paved over the bottom layer with hop er, with cobble. And I've tried to just clean up a little, uh, pave over with cobble so that not so much stuff is loaded. I replaced all the item frames with signs. They were really hurting FPS. And like, um, yeah, see, well, I think it's running right now. Yeah, I just threw some items in here. So if it's still running, oh no, huh. See, FPS is not consistent in here. Very weird, but it works. Um, everything is all rigged up. And I told you I tried to clean it up a little. Um, also, uh, this is the main line. Um, starts up here at this item elevator. Goes down here. And it goes to the um, basically an unsortable chest. If things end up in this chest right here, um, it means they can't be sorted. And that's okay. It's, it's okay. We'll, we'll do something with that eventually. Uh, route it to overflow somewhere. Um, so, what's next? Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go put some stuff in here. Oh, hold on. No, yeah. This is my favorite thing to do. How does he do this? Hold shift while you fall through vines. Only one side of them is safe, like... <laughs> This side of the vine, very safe. This side, uh. <laughs> and now we're on this one right here. Very cool. I don't know. I need to make like a puzzle or something with these vines. Maybe we'll do that in the tunnel somewhere. Uh. <laughs> um, I've been trying to incorporate, <clears throat> not incorporate, but uh, integrate all of my storage from around the island into the sorting system. Um, so I've, I'm slowly clearing out chests, as you can see. Uh, but today, I kind of want to do some smelting. Um, so as soon as I remove these smelters, we will be a smelt-free island. And that's not good. Um, okay, we can take a little more. Uh, yep, that's how we're getting. <laughs> um, so we need to set up a smelting system somewhere. Um, and I think I know where I want to put it. Uh, I have to dig out a little bit of an area, um, but it shouldn't be too bad uh, compared to what we've done already. And yeah. Um, smelt free system, yeah. Um, so the smelter, it's going to be housed kind of not close to where we are right now. Um, meow. There. Now we just suffer with really low FPS. <laughs> um, so, <sighs> we're probably going to need a few more hoppers. And we're going to need some more redstone. Uh -huh. And um, I still need to dig out where we're going to put this guy. Uh, we'll take some of those. Take some comparators. Uh, we will take some repeaters. Torches. I don't think we need pistons. <laughs> uh, let's grab some chests too. Um, so basically, um, smelting is going to be a little bit of a bottleneck uh, per se. And let's get some wood too. And um, the way we're going to set it up, there's going to be, going into the smelter, um, we're going to split the, the input line. How did spruce get into oak? How spruce get in oak? Spruce go here. <laughs> um, oh, hello, cobble. Everyone's going into oak. Oh, more cobble. I bet I know why. Um, it was from when I was cleaning up back there. Uh, the bad part about cobble is cobble is very full. <laughs> it 
In fact, I probably need to hit the overflow for it. Let's go and do that. Uh, but cobble's down here. And then we'll just put those guys in there. Very good. Um, so now cobble won't get sorted. That's good. Because if I remember correctly... Um, yeah, so this is an overflow chest for copper, or not copper, uh, cobble, and it is backed all the way up to this hopper here. <laughs> so quite a ways. Um, so the input line for the smelting system. Um, there's going to be two lines, things to be smelted and things not to be smelted. Um, the things to be smelted will then, we have to like separate those two basically. We'll do that with sorting. Um, and then uh, we need to... Uh, let's get some ore also. Uh, we need to basically... Um, yeah, it's fine. Um, smelt things and then rejoin those two lines together to then be sent to the sorting system. If that makes sense. So it's kind of like unzipping something um, and then like it flows down two paths and then zip it back up. Yeah, that's actually what we're doing, is we're unzipping something, fiddling with it, smelting, and then zipping it back up. Very nice, very nice. Um, so we're going to build our smelter back a ways in here. Uh, we're actually going to build it, I think, where did I decide I wanted this? So that's there. I think I want it there. Um, oh, have I not showed this to you guys? <laughs> he said coyly. Um... Yeah, so while we were doing some um, sorting things, I would occasionally get bored and felt like doing some earthwork, and I have been secretly building this hole. It's on the back part of the island, um, so you can see like that's our sign that says how big our ellipses were. Um, it's back here on the back end of this mountain. This cliff sign was kind of here already. I just... I took it away, and I dug a hole like I usually do. <laughs> and we have uh, a nice, a nice uh, spiral, a helix. And yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. I still have to tweak it here and there. Um, and there's a few things I would like to try in it. Um, in places, uh, I need to put more sort of stone brick things in it, some more constructs. So it's not quite so raw. I wanted it to be more of a cave than uh, our tower kind of deal. Um, more of a cavern, you know? Uh, so that's the sorting room. And then that goes to... Oh, oh yeah, we have a nice waterfall. Which is very, very hard to dig. <laughs> um... Let's see. Uh, yeah, this goes to the this base. And then this is the hole that we were going to build our mine out of. And recently I've been thinking about that. And I think I'm going to fill that hole back up. I know. I know. Uh, you can see down here the helix ends. And I haven't really worked on that at all. Um, that area right there, that I think is going to where, uh, going to where, where we are going to uh, put the mining operations. Um, and that way, so it'll be kind of like mining, smelting, and then sortings up there. And I've got other plans, don't you worry, but I think that's where I want things. And somewhere around here we can sneak in a bedroom eventually because I don't have one. <laughs> so that would be nice. So let me dig this stuff out. I've been going on for a while now. Um, let me dig this out and set up the divider. Um, basically to pull things that we're going to smelt off of the, the line. The unzipper, if you will. Um, yeah, so let me clear this out because as you can see it will take a while. Um, I am not rich in pickaxes at the moment. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay, um, <clears throat> I have fiddled around with this room all afternoon, um, 
This is like the fourth incarnation of what you are seeing. Um, I've had, this is eight furnaces at the moment. Um, and to you, today's Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. Um, as well, unless you're Jewish. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Um, but, but Jewish folk don't celebrate Easter. I wonder if you got, I wonder if they get Chinese food like on Christmas. I'm writing on a lot of stereotypes right now, I know. <laughs> um, okay, so I had uh, at one point four on this side, four on that side, and I like that one the best. It was the most visually appealing. Um, I had a whole like wall of them against the back at one point. Um, it, and this is, I think, what we're going to end up with. Um, what I was trying to do... Um, is I was trying to let's see if we can't uh, get this to work very well. I was trying to say we have um, so say we have two furnaces. Um, say that's a furnace and that's a furnace. Um, I was trying to split um, incoming items to them using uh, so let's say I wanted to split items to them like this. And that was what I was going to do, is use a double chest um, and use two hoppers to pull from it. So both are trying to pull from the same thing, and it'll split them evenly. So if I put in a stack of stone bricks, um, it should be going two at a time, and it is. Very good. And it's splitting them evenly. Very good. And that was how I was going to do it, um, until I ran into a little bit of a problem. Um, so let's say that this is an input line to that double chest that I want to use to split things. Well, instead of alternating one item, one chest, one item, one chest, one item, one chest, it goes, um, and it, I think it has to do with uh, the speed at which a single hopper moves items. So say we put that same stack into this hopper. So you can see it's moving them one at a time. This receives them one at a time, puts them into here one at a time. Now, instead of being like, oh, this guy, my turn, this guy, my turn, this guy, my turn, and it pulls them every other one, it's the same one pulling over and over again because its speed happens to match up with uh, the speed that this guy's pulling. So they're kind of in sync, but that means that one chest uh, gets all of them and the other one gets none of them. So what's the point in trying to split things like that if you can't? <laughs> Um, so I was trying, well, we're going to have eight furnaces, um, and I was trying to split the bandwidth using the chests like that. Um, because, I mean, uh, on a multiplayer server, that's the best way to do things, I would think, uh, so that there's not a minecart moving or anything like that. Yeah, do I have a single piece of dirt? This is bugging me. Uh, I was going to try to do it like that, so that, if you hear birds chirping, it's because I have my window open, I'm sorry. Um, it's rather warm today. <laughs> uh... I was going to try to split the bandwidth like that and have parent uh, chests dividing into two sibling chests and just basically um, tear my way down, kind of like a bracket almost, into all the, the uh, furnaces. Well, that doesn't work unless there's more than one item at a time in each parent chest, um, which is what I just tried to demonstrate. So instead, we're going to have to do a minecart system. Um, I just wanted you guys to see how we're going to set this up uh, before we do things. Um, so that they don't look too foreign when we get done. Uh, so here is, uh, this will be our input if we're here. Um, we can also run, um, well, I guess there's a lot of different ways to do this. Uh, I was going to say we can, um, move, uh, I guess we can plug it anywhere on this line. If, if we want to send a minecart up from a mine at one point, um, I guess we can just plug it into this line somewhere. So this is like a mini sorter, um, basically. So any items that can be sorted, it will pull off of this line. Um, and basically, we want to think we want to take smeltables, put them in the smelting system, and unsmeltables, and just send them on their merry way to the sorter eventually. Um, for now, I think we have this chest as a temporary final destination. Um, so basically, if we want to put an item in, uh, say, cobble, 
Um, we also put in redstone. So the cobble, it should be pulling off of the line. One of you should be flashing. This guy, very good. So that means that cobble is getting sent here. Um, so this line will be sent to those furnaces and distributed hopefully evenly across them. Um, I still have to work that out. I'm none too pleased about that feature um, with the double chest not separating properly. Very unfortunate. Um, they separate properly, just not when they're being fed by a single hopper. Uh, not when the double chest is being fed by a single hopper. Um, kind of unfortunate. Uh, and then let's see here. Uh, the redstone should be right there. So if we put anything that cannot be smelted into this chest, it should just um, not try to put it in the smelter. That's what these are for. So the only smeltable things are getting put in the smelters. Now, to keep this thing fueled, um, I also want to have a fuel line um, so that if coal somehow makes its way into this line, i.e. a minecart uh, we send up, then it pulls the coal off the line to be incorporated into the smelting automatically. That's, yes, haha. <laughs> um, so I also have coal and blaze rods um, being sorted. So um, these two hoppers right here, these two sorters, this guy and that guy, um, they sort this way and we will run them up uh, to a similar uh, type deal. And uh, they will be sent over... See these hoppers right here? Oh, how'd you get in there? Huh. <laughs> Is there any others like that? Oh, oh, hello. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, if there are any... Hoosier, what's it? If there are any uh, fuel get put in here, do I have any fuel? Not really. Uh, I know I have some coal. So if there's a minecart on top of those hoppers, um, basically, fuel goes in the back of the furnaces, uh, smeltable items go in the top. So this is an input, that's an input, and then the output is on the bottom. So now it's a matter of matching up um, in the this line to the fuel line, and somehow being able to distribute relatively evenly across these guys. Uh, we want to increase the bandwidth, basically, so that the time it takes to smelt a stack of items is spread across all of these guys versus being a single furnace. And that's why we're not having a single furnace for each item being smelted. Um, that would not be very good. <laughs> uh, that would be very bad. Um, so basically now what I need to do um, is work out getting this connected to that. So uh, I'm going to take a cut here, guys, uh, pull my hair out a little more. <laughs> uh, not like I don't have any to spare, but I'm going to do that. And, uh, oh, this water, that's because I got so frustrated taking so many trips to get food. Um, so I'm going to keep on working and get back to it. I really should have done this in creative <laughs> before I tried this in here. That's okay. Um, be back. Be back after a little while. More smelting. Smelt, smelt time again. Um, you might hear that low rumble the minecarts are going. Um, so we should be pretty close to the point of being able to actually smelt things. Um, oh, cool. This is working. How much does it have to have in there? 53? 46? 46, 46. So apparently 46 is the minimum. So if we take out that, ooh, very cool. Ha ha. <laughs> um, very cool indeed. So then this cart should just be, yeah, stockpiling. Very nice. Uh, I'm all out of coal. It's all in that guy. <laughs> all of my coal in one minecart. Um, so here you can see this is our um, minecart that will load things into the smelters. Um, I know it's a hot mess back here, but sorry. <laughs> um, so the coal, let's let's start at the source. Um, we put items into Z1 chest right here, and um, you know, in case I'm really dumping stuff in there, um, I don't want to overload our system because there is one small constraint which we'll talk about. 
But let's say I fill every single slot, it'll start to go and sort. We talked about that. Um, and it'll run through our sorters, and then coal and blaze rods will go through here. Uh, they go that way. These two repeaters are a shutoff for those two guys. So that if um, we ever, should the day ever come that we get enough coal that uh, this hopper back here gets... Um, so this is the line that the coal travels to get to, to get to the that chest car. So if somehow... My window's open again. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. You would think I would be able to enjoy a nice sunny afternoon with my window open. You would think wrong. Uh, so this is a cheap little item elevator. Um, and it pulls the coal from the line down here, which we said uh, runs back to there. And if the coal ever does back up, um, we're trapped. <laughs> If the coal ever does, back up, get up, <laughs> uh, to this guy right here, this hopper, um, once it gets enough for this second redstone to light up, it will stop sorting the coal and blaze rods. It'll stop pulling them off the line. Whew, okay. Um, other items. Um, so the other smeltable items, uh, these guys, uh, will go into this cart right here who is speeding along. Uh, if we ever put items in here, uh, and we will in a moment, um, he will stop for a brief moment. Um, this is just a little cart unloading redstone mechanism. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to make. Um, and it'll load it until it can't load it anymore, and then... Uh, that's the limit right there. That's why we're using a single chest and not a double, is because it can only be so full. Um, I can only load a single chest's worth of items at a time, though I doubt I ever will. Um, so that's the full, I guess, width of our bandwidth. Um, that's that's as, as much as we can go at a time. Uh, and it will load up this cart, who is... Trying not to get in its way. <laughs> like it's gonna run over my toes or something. Um, he'll come up here, and if he ever has items, as soon as he's on top of this hopper, um, it will basically. Uh, I actually haven't tested this. Uh, let's put some stone in here. Um. Here, let's test this. So yeah, you can see him stopping and loading up right now. Uh, speed this up. Let's take out a lot of that. So as soon as the hopper is all out of items, it'll send him along. Very good. And this is basically just an alternative to using an item elevator. I could have used an item elevator and hoppers, but this is so much cheaper. <laughs> uh, okay, good. It worked. Um, oh! Okay, good. It worked. So he went, and he should have just put all the items um, into the unloader, which then feeds into a loader for this guy. Um, and yes, it looks like he already distributed those. <laughs> Great. Um, so let me uh, check these. Yeah, see, there's our stone that we put in. Very good. Uh, distribute it pretty evenly. Very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so let's give our system a test. Um, do we have any coal? Very good. Uh, we'll grab some more iron. Okay, here we go. So we want coal, iron, iron, gold. Uh, oh, I have more gold. Oh, oops. Very good. So what should happen is it should start pulling those items down and actually just for measure um, we will put an unsmeltable item in there just to make sure it does not get lost uh, dirt. Except I wanted dirt back here at the end. So what should be happening is it should be 
loading this guy up. Um, yep, he is loading. Man, how much is in there? Oh, dang. Okay, cool. So now that it's pouring items, basically it's a continuous stream of the iron. Uh, it's going to continually stream into here, and he's just going to remain there until the iron stream stops. Um, very good, very good indeed. The coal should have just gone into uh, this guy. Yep, just made it. Um, you can see it was a whole stack because this is what it had used these items here to fill up the smelters. Um, and they haven't really started smelting, otherwise that coal car would be moving. So, oh, this guy has. Look at him. Look at him go. Good on you, that guy. Good on you. Uh, and I have not rigged up um, the output, but for the output I will just run hoppers align under all of these um, smelters and drain it out here. Uh, tie it in with this line right here because um, this is the items that can't be smelted. Uh, they will go into there. How did coal get in there? Very interesting. Huh. Anyhow, uh, items that cannot be smelted will go into here. Um, so, like, if I am mining and I dump in, like, diamonds also, they will just go into there, not try to get stuck in a smelter. Um, so I'll tie that line in with an output line from all these furnaces, load that into a minecart, and send it up to the sorter system to be unloaded. Whew. Hopefully that makes sense for you. Um, yeah, and I need to decorate this little... Um, I was thinking, like, make some kind of forge-looking thing right here. Or, like, an actual smelter, a crucible or something. Um, I need to put an arch here. It's going to be dicey trying to hide that. I'll figure it out, though. Don't you guys worry. I actually don't mind the minecart noises. Because um, I did want this to feel like an industrial room. And I, I know it's a hot mess back here. <laughs> Uh, I should have done a much better job keeping this compact, but I did not. Anyhow, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think, yeah, we should be, um, oh, there he goes. So it must have uh, uh, loaded the entire batch of smeltable items. Um, into our our guy. Uh, I think coal just ran through. So now it should be up here unloading all the smeltable items. Yeah, so now this guy's being held here uh, because the contents from the other cart are draining through this hopper into this chest into this guy. So now he's going to load up until he's full and then once he's full he's going to start distributing across there. Um, yeah, that's that crappy item elevator. You can see why I would want to use minecarts. They're so much cheaper than using the that kind of deal. Um, yeah, so how much does the other guy have? How rich is he? Oh, is there no way up there? Nope, no way up there. Good. Good job, me. Um, well, well. Oh man, he's very full. <laughs> very full indeed. Um, yeah, so I'm going to wait here until he's done draining, and uh, then we will um, go. Okay, he's he's on his last stack of things. He's going. He's going. Uh, as soon as he's done, this other cart will be done also, and it can start distributing. Um... And as I've said, I don't have hoppers under the furnaces to pull items out from under them, but that is okay. Very, very good. So it should just be dropping and dropping and dropping items in here. Um, and that's what I want.
That is what I want. Alright, so it's working, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. I know we've gone on pretty long today. Um, but this rig, it was very frustrating to get um, done and have the room be aesthetically pleasing. Um, I wanted the eight furnaces to go at once. That was also difficult. I don't know. There's a lot of functions going on, and uh, I'm glad I was able to do them. I'm just disappointed that it's such a mess back here. Um, I certainly could have done a better job, uh, but that's quite okay. I have room to spare. Uh, yeah, so, uh, thanks for watching. You know I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'll see you, see you guys next time. It's very evenly distributed. Very good. Wow. Wow, indeed. Okay, guys. Um, see you next time. Bye-bye.